Hey guys, and welcome back to Desert Strike. When we last left off, we were on the final mission. We had just made it. We have completely crushed the madman's forces up until this point. However, one more campaign stands between us and victory. This campaign, while I wouldn't say it's hard, it is tricky. Um, it actually gets easier the further along you go into it. Uh, the first mission is fairly savage. Let's go. So, campaign four, nuclear storm. Let's get uh, Jake back on board as well. The embassy officials have given us the location of the madman's nuclear weapon plant and presidential palace. You must prevent these weapons from being produced and shipped to the madman's bomber. But our first crisis is to save the oil fields and stop the flow of oil into the gulf. So, for your final missions. Uh huh. This music is so good. Save the oil fields. Stop the oil spill. The rest of your missions are still unknown at this time. Information will be sent to you on your status screen as the campaign progresses. Well, alright. Let's go. Yeah, we've got our turbo fires kicked in again. So, oil fields. Commandos will protect valuable oil fields. A team of six commandos hides in a bunker by the dunes. They need you to airlift them to the oil fields. Destroy the Zeus to avoid scorched earth. Yet, yeah, this is where the difficulty for this mission comes in. We have enemy Zeuses, and they are chipping away at the oil fields. Uh, if we let them destroy too much, it is game over. And... They, they don't exactly sit on their ass. Let's just say that. That one is going to destroy that one. And they can destroy them, as you can see there, in one shot. Which is really savage. But, never mind. It is up to us. Oof. To defend these fields, which is exactly what we're going to try and do. Now, obviously, Zeus's aren't much of a threat to us either, but in the sheer quantity, the sheer quantity of them um, does make things slightly harder because they really can rip us to pieces over time. There we go. Not doing too bad, to be honest. Certainly could be doing worse. We've actually lost one there, which isn't brilliant. Now, the quick winch is just around here. Eh, it's not super useful on this level, but ah, is it ever super useful? But it's better to have it than not have it, I suppose. Especially if it's just going to be left out in the open. Now, there is a nasty, very nasty uh, new enemy that the madman has invested in on this mission. And that is the crow tail. It is this nasty fucker here. This thing. Mobile Sam Launcher. Armor 250. Power, 150. Yeah, that's right. So it takes uh, four shots from this sucker to, to dust you. And it takes two Hellfires and three Hydras to waste this thing. And they are everywhere. It's not like you can find one or two. These are everywhere. It takes more than two Hellfires to waste a crow tail. Its missiles do 150 points of damage, but they fly slow enough for you to avoid them. They are slow. They are, but they're not... They're not that slow. They absolutely are a legitimate threat. If you're not too careful. Right, so I think the only thing we've got left to do now... Oh no! I was going to say the only thing we've got left to do now is... Um, Drop our friendos off. But no, there were two Zeuses slightly hidden. All right, let's go pick up our boys. Plenty of resources on this level as well, so you don't have to worry too much. And I do know where there are two or three extra lives, I think. Uh, there may be more extra lives than that. I'm not sure. We're probably going to get shot down at some point on this level. Because, my god, guys... <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah this level doesn't hold your hand if you relax and are not concentrating on what you're doing this level will slap you silly uh, it is the hardest mission I would say but I mean it's not it's not brutal it's not jungle strike 
but it is a little on the savage side. Anyway, let's drop these boys in and they can take care from here. I don't know what six guys are going to do against uh, the enemy forces, but we're going to have to trust them for now. Now, what that will do is repair our armor just a little bit anyway, which is probably nice. Still doesn't tell us where there are armor repair crates, but that's okay. So, next is the oil spills. Save the gulf ecosystem from oil spills. Stop the flow of oil spilling into the gulf. Hit the tip of the pipe with a direct shot to close it shut. There are three spills to take care of. Well, all right. We can do that. That's not too bad. Now, I like the way the sand here is blue. I always wondered what that was about when I was a kid. And essentially, the first mission we play is set uh, during the evening. The second mission is set during uh, the afternoon. The third mission is at uh, dusk, I believe. And this mission is during the night, so that is why the sand actually changes colour, which I thought was quite a cool little thing. Now, I like the way we actually tied that into a knot with our 30mm gun. This guy is a fucking surgeon with his, his bloody uh, gun. It's very impressive. Anyway, we've got Zeus's. Oh, I hate Zeus's. They really can chip away at you. Yeah, that's what I wanted, game. That's exactly what I wanted. I wanted that hellfire to shoot that soldier. Ugh. Right, let's close this one up. And we must make note that there is armour there. We're also almost out of fuel, but that's okay. Now, let's see what surprises... What surprises are in store for us up here. It shouldn't be too bad. I say. Zeus's, maybe. We can handle the... Ooh, hello. We have... Speedboat. Really? See what I mean? The game just, like, auto-aims on whatever it wants to. It's not very good. The targeting, not the game. The targeting. The game's fantastic. There we go. Let's go close up this last pipe. And we are done. Might as well scoop up some go juice for us here. Lovely. Now, bomb shelters. Reinforced bomb shelters. Armour 200 defended by buried tanks. Innocent civilians are being tortured underground in underground bomb shelters. Blast the shelters and defeat the enemies whilst rescuing at least 15 civilians. Well, okay. So now we've got to go save some souls. Or smoke in some tanks. We can do that. Now, these are defended rather well, I might have to say. There we go. That was a little bit sketch. We've got 25 armor left, but what we can do is by blasting these open, we obviously get civilians, which will repair our armor at the LZ. So it's quite nice. This game's quite generous because although there's lots of stuff here to kill you and do damage, there are also a good amount of uh, opportunities to get your armor back. And as we will go over a little bit later on, there's also plenty of opportunities to get extra lives and whatnot, which is nice. Okay. Much better. So it's not brilliant we definitely want some more uh, ammo and we can pretty much grab it and smoke it all down in one because there's lots of ammo on this level as I've, as I've uh, explained before there is a lot we're not going to run out of ammo no way fuel Eh, fuel might get a little bit touched. Nah, I don't think so. I think we're going to be fine. Now, what's defending this one? I'm guessing. Yep, more Zeus's. Ah, oh, I hate these Zeus's. Trouble is, once you unbury them, they change their orientation. Which is frustrating. And I think they get their health back as well. Which, yeah, they definitely get their health back. 
and we're low on armor again. <laughs> um, well, I suppose what we could do is, we, hang on, yeah, armor 85, oof, that's really not good, guys, but hopefully we should be okay. So we could actually go back and get that. No, we'll be fine. It's a long way to go back and get that armor. We're going to avoid that if we can. Let's go drop off. Should get enough uh, armor patched into us by doing this. Just to keep us going on this mission anyway. I still love how those Bradley uh, APCs are much bigger than us. Uh, I love the scale in this game. It's funny as hell. Right, so we've got this little sucker down here who is in the middle. We should be okay if we come down here. We want to be very careful, and if we can see any tanks or anything along the way, we will smash whatever we see. Hydras are a little on the low side, but that's fine for now. Should have enough to at least have a good look at this place. Ooh, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, you know, I actually prefer those to Zeus's. They don't track you half as well as the Zeus's. The M48's, they're not too bad. Once you outmaneuver their guns or their missiles, you can kind of chill. Right, let's get these boys on board. We didn't actually get hit from that, which is nice. Now, uh, we're not going to go repair because we don't need to just yet. Now, if we go down to this city here, Oof. Oh god, see that? We need to destroy that. We need to destroy that now. All will make sense soon. Depending on how familiar you are with this game. Right, let's start opening up some buildings whilst we're here. And one of these has got fuel in it, I'm pretty sure. And one's got an extra life. Okay. Grab the fuel. Come on, I said grab the fuel, thank you. Grab the extra life. Now, that moves on to the next mission, actually. The reason I destroyed that truck. Ammo's okay, let's keep scouting for supplies. That truck we're going to leave. That truck up there we're going to leave. Because they're just full of garbage. We don't want to... Ooh! Don't want to destroy the garbage trucks. There we go. Managed to waste him just with the guns. Nice. Anything in there? No. No bueno. Okay. Danger zone. Right, we want to get out of here then. Alright, fuck that noise off. Anything in here? Give me some of the good stuff. Uh, armor repair? Sure. Right, let's waste him as well. See the back. He's got to go. I uh, can't see what's in the back of that one. Yeah, that's kind of a bullshitty mission. That's coming up, to be honest. Let's keep peeling open these buildings. Hopefully we'll find some nice juicy supplies. Please do not shoot... Ah, look, there's another life there. And I know of at least one other life, I think. Right. Oh, yep. That we're in a danger zone. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. We don't want none of that. Okay. Let's let's go back there when we've uh, finished the objective that we are on. This guy's just one buried Zeus, which is fine. Well, it would be fine if we could actually see see that the way the tank actually respawns. Uh, we are actually really low on armor, so what we can do here... Let's go back and grab that armor that we had earlier. There's no point in throwing this stuff away. We might as well use it. No point leaving it for the roaches. Even if it is a good old fly back. Alright, let's go over the water. Conserve as much fuel as we can, because we can. Why not? No reason in not conserving fuel, I guess. Right, let's scoop this armor up. Might as well use them. 
Now that doesn't feel like we've got the quick winch, does it? Interestingly enough. Uh, fuel is... Fuel's okay for now. Oof. That was not good. Ten points of damage every time you, like, crash into a building. Although, I don't think you can destroy yourself by crashing into a building. So bear that in mind. You can knock yourself down to, like, ten points of armor. Ooh. Didn't really want to do that. If I'm being honest, yeah, so they actually do, they must do three times the damage when they're in alert zones. Really didn't want to fly, fly into him. I'm not going to be too salty if I get shot down here. It kind of is what it is, to be honest. Yeah, look at that. We've got, we have to get all the way over there to actually go to the LZ. At least we're going to repair our armor from doing this. I made a few mistakes here that I'm not happy with, but uh, yeah, it could definitely be worse, that's for sure. Where's some fuel? I'm going to go grab some fuel from here. Drop off, get repaired. Yeah, fuel drums here, nice. Yum. Okay, cool. Good to go. Now let's go back and drop off. Now, did we actually complete that mission? No, we didn't. We've still got one left to save. That's fine. I wouldn't want to be uh, in this madman's bunker, i tell you that much. And <laughs> we have one hellfire left. Let's use that bad boy up. Now, let's go get slapped back together. I don't know how they repair us. They do invent <clears throat> smart armor later on in the series. Which is kind of bullshit, but it's that delicious... Video game bullshit, you know what I'm saying? Okay, cool. Let's get out of here. Now. Let's head back down and go scoop up that last guy. Uh, that, see if we can see any trash trucks on the way. Open up some more. Oh, God. No, he's not in an alert zone. We can take him out. Yep, that wasn't an alert zone. Not quite sure how they work the alert zones out in this area. It seems kind of strange. Actually, let's grab you. Are you part... No, you're not an alert zone either. Uh, why can't I move? I think it's because we clipped that building there. Right, they're okay. Extra ammo and shit. Yeah, we're really badly damaged again, but that's fine. That's just going to be the way it is on this mission. There's so much uh, fire coming at you. All the time. Alright, let's grab you up. Mission 3 complete. And that's all the civvies in the bank. Now, this alert zone should magically disappear. So, destroy only the trucks that hold the nuclear bomb parts. Armor 100. The madman is hiding his nuclear bomb parts in garbage trucks. And he's holding civilians hostage in decoy trucks. Do not destroy these civilian garbage trucks. Right, now, interestingly, it does not show you where they are. Um, it doesn't even point you in the right direction, which I think is a little bit on the savage side. So you have to fly around and just basically hope that you can find the correct trucks. Now, don't forget, all the time your fuel is ticking away. This is not a very well designed mission just because... I mean, okay, there is plenty of fuel on this level. That's true. But it's savage all the same. Right, we've got... Oh, no, I didn't want to kill him. I wanted to take him. There's extra armor. Now, are you missiles or are you garbage? Um, you don't have to destroy all of these either. Yeah, your missiles. You don't, I think there's like... You have to get most of them. But you're probably... You might see, depending on how this goes, there will be a couple of trucks left over with missiles in after we complete this. And it's very hard to get all of them because it doesn't tell you which ones uh, are targets. It doesn't even tell you where they are on the map. But that's the nature of this mission, sadly. Yes. There we go. Mission 4 complete. But there will still be more 
of them. Ah, see, he's gone the wrong way. So we've got no bloody idea. I bet he's going to turn down. Nope. Okay, he's safe. That's fine. We don't want to go killing civilians just for the sake of it. Not in the name of fun. Uh, oh, low fuel. Right, well, where's fuel? Yeah, let's go down here and get some fuel. But yeah, as you can see, uh, very, very challenging, to say the least, to actually get all of them. Which frustrated me as a kid, because I was like getting all of the enemies. And I think you actually get penalised if you don't get all of them. From a point standpoint? From a point standpoint, that makes sense. Of course it does. Uh, yeah, so I'm uh, not going to worry too much about it. There will be at least two more trucks, I think. That have nukes in. Hmm. Where are you? There's no point in hiding. There's one. There's one. I mean, it's kind of a weird way to hide your your weapons, really. But hey, I'm not going to judge. Okay, so we're not going to waste all of our time trying to get those. So, nuclear weapon plant, armor 500, protected by two radar stations. Very important, yes. Destroy the madman's nuke weapon plant and cooling towers. Capture his nuclear scientists before any bombs are built and shipped to the bomber plane. I guess there are already bombers built. Bombs built because we've just destroyed a load. So, again, another kind of tricky bastard mission because there are crow tails up there which, under an alert zone, will actually waste you in two hits, maybe, maybe one hit, depending on how much armor you've got. And there are two radar zones. Ooh, two radar zones. See how many of those things there are? See how many there are? See how fast they fire? They give no shits. Look, they're everywhere. They give no shits whatsoever. But let's go disable the radars. Good thing I know where they are. Roughly ish. There we go. Nice. Alright, boys. We got this. Not bad. Not bad, men. Not bad. Um, now, let's go back. We're going to have to waste those uh, crow tails. But. <sighs> that is a lot easier said than done. There we go. One down. Wait for him to blow his load. See how many shots they take. Ooh, you dance with the devil, you get the horns. Another one there. Ooh. Oh no, no. See how bad that was when you hit, um, hit the building. Ow. That was more than my ego that got bruised there. Ooh. Okay, I think that's all of them. But we do have a problem. We have got no armor left again. But that's okay, and I think, yeah, we're out of ammo too. Gee, wouldn't it have been useful to have an ammo crate there? Oh, wait, there was one there. But as I was doing the death roll, spinning wildly out of control. Ah, uh, goddammit. Well, good thing we've got lots of machine gun. And we're going to use that machine gun. Juicy machine gun. Come yeah, man. I always used to do this as well when I was playing this. I was just shooting the shit out of... Oh, God. Another one sneaked up on us. Oh. Yeah. I was going to say, we don't want none of that. Good thing there's some ammo here. So we want to hit him with two hellfires. Oof. Ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's always something. Now, as I said before, those um, crow tails still do not show up. Do not show up. Let's grab this dude. They do not show up on... Ah, a few nuclear bombs were shipped to the bomber. The madman will try to reach the bomber. Okay, how is there so much space in this Apache? Uh, uh, I forgot what I was saying now. Yeah, those crow tails do not show up ever on the map which is kind of savage when you think about it 
So, mission five complete. Not bad. Now we have a power station to deal with. Power station. Uh, 100 megawatts armor. 400. Destroy the power station which protects the madman's fortified presidential palace. This will weaken the enemy weapons. Yeah. Well, they don't tell you. Is this sucker is completely protected by M48s. Uh, M48s aren't too bad, but these particular ones really like nothing more than to put their foot so far up your ass. You can taste their shoe leather, but that's okay. That's okay. We're gonna we're gonna try and meet them more or less head on. We're gonna just unleash everything we have. Plenty of ammo around. Uh, I want to creep up to this place. Because if we're careful, we can outrange them. Just. We can outrange anything, as long as we're careful. Alright, he's facing that way. They're kind of all covering each other as well, which sucks. Yep. Ah, that hurts. Ah, that hurts. Right. Oh, God, see that? See that guy hit us. Oh, God, they hurt so much. 190 armor. So we can only take two more hits. Two more hits and we're done. There's one left. See if we can get him to destroy this for us. No, he's on alert though. Oh, did we? Yep. Yeah. I went for the double hellfire, but we're out. Okay, that's a really unfortunate position to be in. Come on. Nope. <laughs> he just caught us. Just caught us. Never mind. I don't mind. I don't mind losing our life. Uh, dude, can you explode, please? Thank you. Now, ironically, there's going to be armor in here, I think. Yep, there's the irony for you. That bitter, painful, sweet irony. No, never mind. Uh, it's not that hard to finish this without getting destroyed. Um, but it's difficult when you're you're trying to commentate and and play at the same time. Okay, this is fucking flavor country. This is absolutely flavor country here. This is. Crowtail heaven. There's shit. Yeah, extra life right there. Careful, careful. Oh, God. See that son of a bitch. Right, and I've just been hit. Yep. One thing to really be careful of is getting hit by buildings. It stuns you so much. Yeah. It's horrifying when you get hit by a... Oh, God. Yep. Had to go down. At least I landed on the bastard. Ah, <sighs> damn. I guess we're getting old, strike team. I guess we're getting old. 450, that's fine. But hey, this is why there's all these extra lives and whatnot on this level. As I said, absolutely doable um, without dying, but it's not easy. Not easy at all. Those crow tails really are fairly brutal. Right, let's get some fuel. Uh, yeah, let's go up here. Uh, it's just the sheer amount of damage they do, you know, and ooh, look at that. There's so many of them. Fuckers are everywhere. Let's try and go down behind this guy if we can. Uh, where are you? There he is. Yep. Even with blasting them with two hellfires and two rockets at the same time, it's very hard to get that combo off before they can turn around. Ah, there's armor there. We'll have it. But as long as you pick up all the lives that I know of anyway, you should be fine, because um, that's six lives that you'll have to complete this level with. And six lives in this game is, well, you might as well have unlimited, to be honest. 
really is all you need. Now I believe that's all those bastards gone. But boy, are they savage. Yeah, not fun to fight. Well, no, that's not true. They are fun to fight. I think it's kind of one of the only enemies, apart from possibly the M48s, that do provide a legitimate bit of a challenge. Just because there's so many of them networked together. And now this guy. This guy has a thousand points of armor. Come on, there we go. Now, did we actually read the briefing for this? So, Madman's Presidential Palace, armor 1,000. This madman is hiding in his bunker below the Presidential Palace. Destroy the palace, then drop off your co-pilot to capture the madman. He'll lead you to the bomber. Yeah. Right, let's drop our, our buddy Jake down. Go on, bud. You can go assault the palace on your own. What could possibly go wrong? Yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. It was a trap. I've been captured and taken to the madman's bomber plane in his APC. Oh no. Well, that sucks. Well, never mind. I'm sure he'll be fine. Right, let's go grab this. Uh, yeah, we'll pick up some more go juice as well because we can. All right. Good stuff. Let's go. Ooh, there was one left. Nice. Vaporized that bastard. Fuck you. Okay, so here we are. At the madman's bunker. Need a co-pilot. Yes, you do. Well, we managed to shoot the guy that was behind our co-pilot. And we actually shot our co-pilot as well, but we didn't kill him lucky. I think he can take two bullets. He's pretty much a badass. Right, now... We need him to come quite far out, because uh, if we get too close, that happens. So it's actually really hard to pick this guy up. There we go. Good to go. Good to go. Ooh, hello. There's a Zeus that's joined the party. Well, <sighs> fuck you, pal. Now, all we have to do... This bit's a bit weird. I think we just have to wait for ages. I think that's what we have to do because I don't really know how to get this this bomber to start moving. I think I had this in my original LP as well. I was just sitting here for ages waiting for the bloody thing to get going and it just it just sits there. Unless is there like another enemy that spawns or something? oh maybe. Is that it? Ah right, okay, so it's just that. Right, well let's have a look before we destroy this thing. Nuclear bomber plane, armor 3000. Destroy the madman's nuclear bomber plane. If it's allowed to take off, the weapons will be armed and the madman will begin World War Three. Stop him now. Yeah, 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 we're on it, we're on it. So we're just gonna unload everything we have, which, well, is okay, because luckily the madman was nice enough to leave us loads of spare ammo and whatnot. Easy as that. Right, he is out of here. Yippee ki yay, motherfucker. Alright, not bad, actually. Not bad. Look at that Zeus that just parks up here. A little bit late to the party, mate. Your glorious leader is shredded. Right, let's grab that. Might as well pick up some fuel. So how many lives did we actually have left over. We've got four lives, so even if we didn't actually find any of the secret lives, uh, we would have been fine. We would have been absolutely fine. So, uh, nobody on board. Yeah, we would have had one life left, because we had six. You start with three, so we've only lost two. Yeah, and that was with some fairly sloppy playing as well, obviously, because I've got a waffle on and chat shit. Right, let's get back. Let's get back for tea and medals. And that's Strike. Strike, this Desert Strike is actually a really easy game. Uh, Jungle Strike is not. Jungle Strike is not easy. Urban Strike's not too bad. Uh, it's got difficulty spikes in Urban Strike, but on the whole, it's not too bad. 
this game is a walk in the cake as long as you know what you're doing but jungle strike really kicks you in the balls I would say there are levels in jungle strike that are just straight up unfair but anyway that's that guys that was a bloody pleasure to replay that game I've enjoyed it immensely and uh, it's nice to actually play something short you can just sit down and just go through it really uh, uh, kind of at your leisure really so oil tanks destroyed here we go congratulations lieutenants you will go down in history for saving the world from a ruthless madman uh-huh never f I never for a moment doubted you would succeed uh-huh you've earned a well-deserved vacation have a pleasant flight back home to the States uh, that's not where I live but okay cool I guess I suppose and then you get this cheese ah uh, man as a kid I used to love this imagining getting congratulated by the president for saving the world oh man brings a tear to my eye instead I became a bum that records videos on the internet fuck anyway listen to that music it's so good Desert Strike, return to the Gulf. Now watch the dog. The dog does something quite funny later on. And how good is this music? This was a very different time for Electronic Arts, obviously. They weren't quite motivated by greed as they are now. And they actually, um, you know, tried to make some good, fun, entertaining games. It was sold as complete packages. Yes, this game is very short, but it has a lot of replay value, I think. I got some fucking replay value out of it as a kid. And it led us to a wonderful game series that I'd love to see come back, but it never will, I don't think. We'll never get another strike game. I don't think. There's some very cool fan-made stuff in the works. Shark Strike. I'm looking at you, Shark Strike. I'm going to see if I can download a demo or something of like that. Let's see what we can do. I like the way Ken Hurley is the master, man, as the madman. They actually digitized real people in this, I think. Uh, I used to love these kind of bitmaps. They used to. I used to think they used to look so realistic. Soon to be a major motion picture. Not. The developers of this game would like to express their appreciation to the men and women of Desert Storm. And then there's the dog there taking a piss. <laughs> and that's it, guys. That is Desert Strike once more. So, fuck. XCOM's finished recording at the time of this. Just got to upload it all. Now this is finished. Shit, uh, I'm gonna have to start doing some other games. Bugger. Okay. Well, anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, till next time.